Another shape in AutoCAD is spline. We can find it in Home menu, in Draw Panel, and we have here spline fit and spline CV. We will take them both. Let's select spline fit and draw a spline. And we just have some clicks and this is our spline. Let's get back to the spline CV this time. Select it and draw. Press enter to finish the spline. Now when we come back on this spline and click on it and click on the other one, we see some difference. Spline fit is this one and you can drag directly from these knots to change it while this one that is spline CV you have some vertices. CV comes from control vertices and you play with the vertices not directly with the line with the shape you just can change the shape of this one as you want so this is the only difference spline fit is this one spline cv is this one also there are some things applied to everyone and we will see we also can draw spline by typing spl or spline press enter and we will have down here three option method degree and object method refer which one of the spline we will use spline fit or spline cv so method has these two sub items spline fit or spline cv let's type m press enter to see this as you can see we have fit or cv what kind of spline do we want let's type f for spline fit. Now when we work with spline fit we have knots. This is an option and if we type K press enter we have three more option chords square roots uniform. So we have three type of knots. Let's type C press enter for chords and let's draw a spline. We will use these three points. Now once more again press enter, type K press enter and this time we will choose square roots, type S press enter and one point, two points, three points and the end. Now you can see a small difference right there. This gap is so big and this one is not so big. So this is the difference between chords and square roots type of knots. Let's test the last one, uniform. And the difference, I think you can see it. This goes straight to the corner and the shape is quite different here press enter to repeat the last command and as you can see we have object object means I have the chance to select an object now when we click over a spline as you can see we have that knots to be changed but we also have here a triangle downwards and if we click on this we have the option to convert a spline fit in this situation to control vertices a spline CV and as you can see I've got these vertices just to change them. I go further, this is once more again spline fit. And the last one that is on the top is spline fit. And I can change and change back and so on. Now let's type again SPL for spline and this time type M press enter and we will choose CV. We type CV press enter and instead of knots in middle we can see we have degree type D for degree. Now it's two usually um, the default is three. Let's type one. This degree is from one to ten. 
type one presenter and let's draw a spline. Presenter to finish the spline and as you can see the corner are straight. Let's get back type D presenter for degree and choose two. And we draw the same spline. And as you can see, the corner this time are rounded. Let's go further to test this feature. Type D press enter. Let's uh, get new value like 5 and draw a spline. And what you can see is that this angle was rounded and here is more rounded as almost flat. At the end of this lesson we have to keep in mind that we have to type of spline, spline feet or spline CV control vertices. The first one is spline feet where selecting these nodes we can change the shape of the spline and in the second spline CV we have these vertices and from here we can change the shape of the spline. Now also we have to keep in mind that spline feet has a uh, submenu nodes and have three type of nodes presented here and also spline CV has an option called degree and this is a number from one to 10. I hope this lesson was an interesting one, so please subscribe and share with others.